All right, guys, welcome back to Stuck on an Island. I'm stuck with you guys, and we are always smiling. It's like 7.30 now. I need to walk all the way back to that restaurant I told you guys that I'll take you. And it closes at 8. Oh my gosh, man, I hope this works out. As you guys might realize, it's in the night, and I'm walking through these streets. So far, no problem, but there's a car here just looking at me. Maybe it's going to take me away. I don't know. Just joking. Ah, ceviche. So, tomato, onions, shrimp. And, and whatever you want, friend, uh, octopus, and fish. You can you can uh, mix make yeah shrimp and octopus for me in mine. Okay. Fish, yeah. No fish. Should you want a small one or big? This is this one is the big one. That's the big one. Yeah. How 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 much is a small one? Yeah, let me see small one. Yeah. Uh, There's not too much different. The small one is in this place. Okay. I'll yeah I'll take this one. Serviche, mid. Yeah. Octopus and shrimp. Uh, give no, give me the grand. No, give me the medium. Yeah. What else here is this good? Is the this is the yeah, give me the medium. Then. Okay. What else do you have that's good? Seafood. Uh, seafood. Yeah. Like okay, so one. I know I want is ceviche. Um, ceviche is popular in Mexico. So whatever it is, I want ceviche, which is um, I'm getting the shrimp, the fish with the octopus. But then I just asked him to tell me about something else, anything else that is um, good here, and I'll be willing to try it. So he's giving me some kind of a soup type of thing. So I'm excited to try that. And um, yeah, the ambiance here is pretty good. It feels very Mexican, you know, popping colors, the pinks, the greens, the yellows, the lights, the music, um, very eerie. And um, yeah, a few people are here still, but it's coming around to closing time, so. Yeah, I'm excited to try my very first Sophie chip. Alright, so the first thing they start me off is with some uh, chips, which is good. And I got some of the dip here. I dip my chip. Gracias. Took a Corona. This dip here, let me tell you. Wow. It tastes like a Jamaican soup. I can't, I can't quite figure out which one. It's almost like a shrimpy seafood kind of Jamaican soup, kind of goldy. <laughs> it's hard to explain, but it's good. I love it. Dance with me, ladies, bailando. Dance. Yes, dance with me as I enjoy my dip and my chip. Mmm. Very good. Yes, yes. Wow. Why did I order two meals, bro? Mmm, look at that. It's got everything in there. Got some onions and some, what is this again? Parsley, I believe. Oh my gosh. Wow. Guys, the ceviche came at the same time. You can see the shrimp and the octopus and oh my gosh, I think I ordered too much food. But the good part about it is that I can pack some of this up and eat my breakfast. But jeez, oh my gosh.
forgive me if you don't hear me talking much. I'm literally just trying to concentrate on eating this amount of food. It's a lot of food. So much, and it's like every single edible component of the seeds inside this bowl. It's no joke. I had to move the soup aside because there's no way I'm gonna finish that. I need them to pack it up for me so I can take it home and eat it later on tonight. <laughs> but I'm here to try the ceviche, most of all. And I'm gonna tell you guys what I think about it. Um, that On a seafood, and you like that nice, cool, refreshing flavor. This is it. And the octopus is so soft, you can bite into it very easily. With the avocado, the tomatoes. Wow. And then here comes the crunch. I like ceviche, for sure. All right, guys. I needed a teammate for that one. Like, honestly. As I told you guys in the vlog before, like, I wasn't really hungry because I already had something to eat. I had soup to eat at the, the mall. So coming here really was for you guys, you know? I'm here to kind of, you know, show you guys more. And it's not just only about you. What I love about vlogging is that it pushes you to do more and see more because you're you're actually you actually have an audience that you're entertaining so at the same time it's you know it's a good effect and i'm glad that i actually came here because i got to try ceviche which i do like i know my girlfriend would love it too the soup was good and um yeah plus i packed it up as well because the place is closing down and i really don't want them to not be able to get home as early as they could so oh yeah but I took some of the, the the tortilla chips because it's so good, so I took those. But as I said before, I do not really like um, tortillas. It, it's not really my favorite thing. So, but these I love. A lot of Jamaicans. How long have you been working here? Here, uh, two years. Two years? Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Wow, the food is... My, my place is a lot of people. People come here often? Yeah, all the time. All the time. I can tell. I can tell. Because I was walking to find like nice restaurants and then I saw it and I was like... Because, uh, because in the, uh, it's, it's too much in the town. And yeah. The but it's expensive but a little. Yeah. Because it's for the people coming to the vacation, like, you know, they yeah, tourism. You know, yeah. Like, and here it's for the people, like, like the people live here. You know? Yeah. It's a little more cheap. That's what I like. I prefer the food that the regular people yeah. will eat. Yeah, to eat. Yeah. Because there is people can and live, and the people in the kitchen don't care. Right? Yeah. Oh yeah, exactly. Exactly, because they they know that they just eat and go. But here, yeah, you have to be supplying the people over and right. over and over. Exactly. Ah. Because uh, some people live here and players uh, uh, come here and out oh, of the, the La Marina because they know La Marina. See. Si. Two restaurants. Okay, next Friday, next Saturday, next Sunday, I go with them. You know, and and there the the town, uh -huh. the people can and live. I agree. I agree. So, 
that's why it's better to eat at local places. It's more and more, yeah, I know. I agree. It's more because it's more active. I agree. I love the food here. Yeah. I love the food here. All right, guys. So I was just having a conversation, maybe like uh, five minutes with the chef just now, and um, yeah, I know you wanted to probably see his face or whatever, but I'm more, I'm more fascinated about making sure that um, that I'm actually living the experience while I'm here and then you guys kind of understand what's kind of happening and I didn't want you know to scare him off the camera although he seemed pretty cool but he made some very good points in terms of uh, being a traveler which I never quite thought about myself which is he was saying when you go in the hotel region yeah where the restaurants are the food costs more but the chefs really don't care about you and it's a really good point what he's trying to say is because you know the chefs know you come there to come to mexico and you maybe eat there once and then you go back to america or to jamaica or wherever they don't really care about keeping you or wanting you to return back to the restaurant however the local businesses like here they need you to keep coming back tomorrow, next week, every other week to keep themselves sustained. So you'll realize that the chefs put a lot more work into how well they cook the dish. Yeah. When you're also cooking for native Mexicans, they know what the food should taste like. So you can't, like at the hotel, they cook something and you go, oh yeah. It's like in Jamaica when you try hotel jerk chicken. And for them, they go, oh, jerk chicken! But in truth, as a real Jamaican, when you try it, you go, oh, this is not really it. That's a traveler's tip. Maybe you guys can take that into consideration when you think about traveling somewhere. All right, walking back home now. There goes a street food place somewhere back, well, somewhere over there. And I see something looking like a nightclub. I would like to go to a nightclub here. Maybe when I go back to Cancun for sure, I'll try that out. Um, yeah, you'll realize my bill was uh, 500 pesos. 5, 5, 25, about 25 bucks. In and around. Um, but again, like it's so much food. Um, this could be enough food for two persons and they would get a completely filled stomach. So, yeah. Um, now I'll show you guys uh, the food place back there because you will realize that um, as I said before, in the night the street food activity gets very much. Um, the reason why I did choose that restaurant though to be quite honest is because of the seafood. Um, most of the street food places that I, that I pass don't really do seafood and maybe I wouldn't really want to trust seafood. Um, on the street so much because you know that can carry a lot of bacteria and all of that but anyway I'm walking home right now and you can see it's about 8 o'clock at night and uh, you know what I think I'll just end this video right here guys remember these three things love nature and adaptation and always remember hit the link <laughs>